Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. For our Saturday craft day, we're going to be doing a craft galley design team project this morning. And this is a really fun project using alcohol inks and some dyes. Sometimes you don't need to stamp and sometimes you don't want to stamp. And so we're going to do these two cards using nothing but dyes and ink. So let's get to it. So here's some of the stuff I'm using. I wanted to try out some photo paper. As I've been told, the back of photo paper works really well with alcohol inks. So grab up any alcohol inks you have and some dyes. And these are the products I'm using today. So we're going to get started with turning over that photo piece of paper because the front will not work. It um, soaks in the ink too much and so we're going to be using the back, which is surprising because the back is really grainy and it doesn't look like it would give this kind of result. So looks can be deceiving and they certainly were. So I am going to put down my three primary colors here, blue, yellow, and red. And then I'm going to take my straw and I'm going to blow around a little bit and then add some 99% alcohol solution just from my paintbrush here just squeezing that out, those dots. And then you're gonna to start to see even more colors. I see a purple, I see a teal. Not only do I see the primary mixes of orange and green, but then you get those additional colors as well. There is some uh, puddling in here. So what I'm gonna do is once I let that dry a little bit, it's still a little tacky in those areas where it puddled. And so I am going to take out a piece of foil. And this is Ranger Gold Foil. And I'm just going to place that right on top of those puddled areas. This way, it's tacky and it's going to want to hold on to that foil really well. I know you've probably all seen this technique super late to the party, but I wanted to give it a try and it really was great. And I enjoyed the way that that came out. So I'm just going to keep going at that until I feel like all those tacky areas are covered in the foil and just basically to what I'm happy with. Okay, so I get that finished and I'm happy with the results. So loving it so far. But I'm gonna cut it down because I wanna use the this background for dyes, um, for sort of my element on the card. But I am going to place them strategically because if it comes out nice, then I'm gonna use the background, as you saw from the photos, as another card. So when you use alcohol inks, be sure to cover your project when you run it through your die cutting machine because I did not and there I was just showing you cleaning up that alcohol from the magnetic mat for my Gemini Junior. <laughs> Lesson learned. I meant to. I just forgot. Here I'm going to take out a um, Lawn Fawn cloudy border die that I've cut into a, some vellum to make a stencil and a makeup brush and we are just going to make a very super soft background. This is Bristol Smooth cardstock and this is Distress Oxide and Tumble Glass. I really want that background just to hint to a sky. Okay, I'm going to cut this down with a rounded rectangle die, but before I do that, I wanted to see what my layout was gonna look like. So I get that and then I choose a smaller rectangle die and I cut that down with my Gemini Junior. And now I'm happy. And so I'm gonna figure out how I wanna do my sentiment. So here, something was just not looking right with this sentiment. I like the gold, but I didn't like the background. This is a paper rose shadow sentiment. So I'm playing with this and I'm trying to figure out what direction I'm headed in life. And I put it aside because I just, something was not working for me. Okay, I'm gonna take some press and seal because I like that layout. Did anyone else cringe when I did that? You should, because watch what happens when I try to remove that press and seal. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so I'm going to put some fun foam on the back here, and then I'm going to place this down on my project. Once I place it where I want, my idea is it's just going to peel up beautifully, and it really, it doesn't. Let me zoom that in for you. It doesn't. It almost pulled up like a sheet of my alcohol ink right off of that paper. <laughs> so um, I was able to finagle it throughout the rest and just be really, really careful and nothing else came up. So that was good, but just don't go tearing your press and seal right off of your project. Please be careful. I would just put a little bit of a dab of glue behind that and it stuck, but interesting that it wanted to come off like a sheet. There might be an experiment somewhere in there. Okay. Back to the card. I am going to cut out the thanks part with gold mirror cardstock, and I'm just going to change that background to vellum. I like the shadow look. I want that to be there, but that dark color was just too much. I wanted the star of this show to be the hearts, 
from the alcohol paper, the alcohol background. And so I'm much happier with the way that that came out. I'm gonna mat this on a gray piece of cardstock and the gray cardstock is cut down exactly like the white one, except it's larger. So what I mean by that is the rounded rectangle corners. And my mono sand eraser was my best pal during this project because I got so much alcohol ink all over my fingers and that was able to take that right off the paper. So I was happy about that. Pulling out my score buddy here and some Nina 110 pound solar white card stock. I'm going to score that to make an A2 size card. And then I'm just going to glue my panel down. I have my corner rounder here from We Are Memory Keepers. That's going to keep my card consistent. You don't have to do this. It's just something I wanted to, to add to my card. And now I have a softer look around the edges of this card. And that will do it for the cards. I'm not going to show you how I did the second one, but I will talk you through it. Basically, I took it, I took a mirror piece of cardstock right on the side of that to make a strip with the purple. And that's going to just accent that card a little bit. And then I had this lovely die in my stash that was already on vellum. This is the Love You die from Neat and Tangled. And I just added a little bit of sparkle pen to the top of that black cardstock. I just felt like that kind of pulled that card together. So here's some close-ups of the cards. Thank you so much for stopping by and for crafting with us. Don't forget to head over to Craft Galley. Check out what she has in store. Lots of great stuff. And um, if you have any questions at all, don't forget to comment below. You know I love chatting with you down there. We will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.